In the gun world, we love to compare things. Nine versus 45, the AR-15 versus the AK-47, SIG versus Glock versus HK. And of course, one that we really love to argue about all the time is the M1A National Match 308 rifle versus a nine millimeter EMP, right? Well, today we're gonna test it. Let's start off with accuracy. All right, very little wind to adjust for today. I may just have to adjust my hold a little bit for the distance. Let's try this out. Wow, that was impressive. That's nice. Tight group. Boy, that wind really picked up when I was shooting it. Probably affected the shots. Okay, a little bit all over the place with the pistol. I think the rifle may have a little edge on this one. Let's do a penetration test. All right, we got the classic water bottle penetration test. I've got 308, 150 grain, Black Hills ammo with the Hornady G Max. All right, now we've got the nine millimeter Barnes TAC XPD with 115 grain bullet. All right, good round. One, two, three, came out. So we got three jugs on the nine and we got about five or six jugs on the 308. Not surprising, 308's gonna have more penetration, right? So. Next, we're going to see how fast I can unload a magazine in each gun, how quick to shoot the gun and keep it on target. Action. All right, we're going to put it on the timer. First one to nine shots wins. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Nine shots of 308. 3.07 seconds. All right, 2.85. Well, obviously, a nine millimeter has a lot less recoil than a 308, so faster. Now, I think what we want to test is concealability. Right. I think we know who wins on that one. But I really do have one more test because I'm just not sure. Well, that's a first. Well, it's a tough call, the side-by-side -side comparison, but I think my choice between the EMP and the M1A is gonna have to be the 